Hello, so today our objectives, by the end of this video, you can be able to say what the difference is between a soft tissue and hard tissue injury, describe a fracture, and I've added in dislocation and concussion as well. And these are injuries that we are going to be targeting within the lesson in a practical way. And I also want you to be able to recall what soul taps and priced means. So our first one is types of injuries. So we can look at our hard tissue injuries. Now, pretty much what it says on the tin. If you can feel a hard bit in your body and that gets injured, then that's the kind of thing. So if a bone breaks, you can feel a bone, it's hard, it breaks, it's a fracture. If your shoulder pops out of its socket, that's a dislocation. Um, and then we have things like stress fractures from overuse, where if you um, overuse, for example, um, if you overuse your ankle, um, you might then start to see, um, or your foot, you might see fractures in your heel. Shin splints is then pain of the um, tibia coming through from overuse. And Soft tissue, this way comes in through all the soft squidgy stuff, so coming from muscles that you can poke, um, to ligaments, tendons, um, even blood, and if we have a look here, hema, uh, heme comes from ancient Greek for meaning blood, if we just zoom out there, um, have abrasions of the skin, our sprain is our ligament, strains, muscles, and tendons. Concussion, so that's affecting that big squidgy thing between your ears, which is your brain. Tendonitis, referring to tendons. Um, blister, that's once again with the skin. Um, cartilage, that soft spongy stuff that we find in our joints. Okay, so I think you get the gist of what the difference is between hard. Hard are things that you can feel, that are pointy, that can then break and get hurt, and the soft things are all the squidgy, liquid, spongy kind of um, items in our body, such as brain, blood, skin, muscle, and ligaments. Moving on. So, we're going to decide what a fracture is. Now, we have this definition here. A fracture is a break, crate, crack, flake, or chip in the bone. And we can see here on our diagram, um, right down here, so we have a very obvious break there. And if we zoom in... We can see that um, we have not only a fracture of the bone, but it's also chipped away as well. So that's a very, very severe fracture. And in this one here, we have our fracture coming right about there. And it looks like there might also be one there as well. So we have our fibula. This looks like it comes from the ankle. So we have our fibula at the back, which is this one. And then our, a fracture of the tibia as well. So a double fracture, not good. Right, now, signs and symptoms. So you might have actually heard a crack. We may have heard of things going, but you can actually hear a crack. Um, when I broke my fibula, there uh, was actually a positive crack that was very audible, even for people around me. Um, it was very painful. Uh, you couldn't actually see it sticking out, but you may um, see that. If you have, what it says here, a bone protruding from the skin, that's also known as an open fracture. And it's, um, there's a big risk of infection if that happens. So when it comes down to it, you, that has to be disinfected and covered up. Localised swelling and bruising, pretty much with most injuries. Um, and very obvious common, common sense here. They will be unwilling or unable to move or put weight on it. So this will link into soul taps. As one of soul taps is um, asking the person, can they move it? So... If they're unwilling to, then it's a very good chance that it may be fractured. Okay, moving on. Treatment of a fracture. Very straightforward. Not going to move him. Immobilize. Now this is where you might have your guy wearing a sling. So this is an example of an arm. Great diagram here, and this goes around the shoulder, and this bit here, this is our sling. And you may do this for if a person had fractured their elbow. With any fracture, you want to call 999 for help. Um, now, the person um, may be getting cold due to what's called shock. So this is where you have vasoconstriction, and so blood um, it wants to stay around the core um, organs within the body. So if we have 
our guy here. The blood is only going to be sort of around the head and around the internal organs. Now I have to excuse his massive arm, left arm, but all the blood is going to come out of the limbs and be centered around those internal organs, keeping them warm. Because there's been a massive shock, a big injury, a fracture, um, the body goes into a defense mechanism, keeps everything. So then the, the person is then going to be getting cold, perhaps in their extremities, and might then be getting um, hypothermia. So you want to keep them warm, put a, um, a jacket over them, but without having making them move too much. And then you want to look after them and make sure they're okay. Okay, dislocation. Abnormal separation of bones at a joint. So there's no, there might no be not be a fracture, however, but the bones have come out of their normal joint and aren't sitting properly. If we have a look here on our X-ray, we can clearly see that this little finger, very prone for goalkeepers, that the finger is not where it should be. So the we have the phalange and we have the metacarpal are not sitting right and there's, there's very clearly going to be some ligament damage as well. As we know, ligaments hold bones to bones. So we look at our symptoms here. We have intense pain, obviously, dislocated something. But the joint instability is when, because those that's come out, there's going to be ligament damage because those ligaments are very good at holding the bones in place. But there's a big enough force to take those bones out of place, then those ligaments are going to be damaged. And then we see our deformity, like our finger was in the wrong place. Obviously, um, if it's out of its socket, you're not going to be able to generate any force through it, so there'll be no muscle strength. And as always, bruising, redness, and linked to intense pain, you're going to have difficulty moving it. But that's very common sense. What do we do? So dislocation, if you're not a trained medical professional, don't try to do anything with it. Refer them on, get an ambulance or take them to the hospital where they will then x-ray to make sure that it is actually a dislocation. They will then manipulate it back in. So popping it back into place is the um, term that is used. And However, if it's dislocated for a long time, you may then see blood supply to the joint may be stopped now, because of well, how the blood vessels travel to the ankle, a dislocation may prevent blood getting to the, the ankle and the foot, which then can be very bad as the um, tissues need the oxygen to respire. And if they don't get that, then the tissue itself can then start to die, which you don't want. So therefore, it's got to be manipulated or popped back into position as soon as possible. Concussion. So this is pretty much a trauma to the head. So we have our guy here. Here's his head. Here's his brain. Now you can see here that there is space between the brain and the skull. So if you get a whack onto the side of the head, that brain is going to rattle around left to right. And from that, bad things can happen. Um, if the brain gets damaged, you can notice things such as a headache. Obviously, the brain's been hurt. Or um, this is actually more to do with um, how the brain interprets all the different things that are going on. So it may be that your things that your vision goes or you feel like you're in a fog and then this will contribute to your headache because the brain doesn't actually have any nerve endings and can't feel pain. The person might be knocked out for a short time and then come back round or may be very forgetful after and not even remember it. Um, behavioural changes, they might get really annoyed really quickly, more than usual. And cognitive impairment, so they might be have slowed reaction time. So they may take um, a little, be a little bit sluggish or a little bit slow after taking a hit to the head. Once again, sounds like 